So on example number one, it says that an art supply store sells several sizes of drawing triangles. Uh, all are dilations of a single basic triangle. The basic triangle and one of its dilations are shown on the grid. Find the scale factor of the dilation. So um, I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit. Now what we did on the last example, and I'm not sure if you guys understood what we did. So what we did is we said, okay, what's the point for A? So A was at um, 1, 3. And then over here, a prime was at uh, 3, 8. Wait, let me count that right. 3, 8. 1, 3, 3, 8. Okay, so I don't like that already. That's a little weird. Um, oh, they do it a different way. Let's, okay. So they're going to do it by the side length. So let me just stop right there. Uh, it would work out to be the same, but not really. Um, they they wanted to measure the side length. So another way you could do it, too. I mean, we would get the answer that way, but it, it, the scale factor is like a fraction. But um, they're saying the measurement from A to C, if you count, it's like one, two units, right? And the count from here, it's one, two, three, four, right? And then from C to B, it's one, two, three. And what do you think this is? One, two, three, four, five, six. So when you look at that, it, if you compare it, it's two. So the scale factor is a dilation of two. Okay. Is the dilation an enlargement or a reduction? Now, one of the things that we didn't talk about is if the dilation is greater than 1, what do you think it is? Uh-huh. And so let's let's write it in a uh, dilation scale factor. So if you have a scale factor... Um, is 2, and then in parentheses I'm going to put if the scale factor is greater than 1, enlargement. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, let's try to do number five. Number five, they gave us uh, two rectangles, and they said find the scale factor. Well, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to go from D to G, so I'm going to go one, two, three, four. D prime to G prime is just one, two. Now I'm going to do D to E, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I bet you this is three. One, two, three. So here's the thing. Uh, you're going to compare the pre-image to the image. So is it 2 over 1 or 1 half? Well, we have to compare D, um, G over D prime, G prime. So that would be 4 over 2. Oh, no, wait. I'm sorry. I wrote that down backwards. It's got to be the it's got to be the image over the um, the pre-image. So this these would be reversed. What does that reduce down to? So we would have a scale factor of 0. 0.5. Does that make sense? Does anybody have any questions? I'm tired like you guys are too. I wish I could turn the camera around so you could see your faces, but this is what you guys look like. 